So hi there YouTubers and 3 Studio Max lovers. So in today's episode we're going to talk about Corona Light Mix and uh, what's the way to use the Corona Light Mix in Corona Render. This can be applied also in V-Ray, it can be applied on any program that has a light mix. So first of all in the first part I'm just gonna populate here with some furniture to add a little bit more realistic uh, environment to, to the whole scene. For those who are on my patrons they can download this scene from there. This is my kitchen, all the stuff that it's in here you can find it on my Patreon. Most the textures are from Corona library so you can use them directly from there and the other ones a couple of them they are from uh other places so without further ado let's start with populating some furniture in here and some accessories and so on if you guys are ready let's just jump in So first of all, I'm gonna open the Chaos uh, Cosmos. So the first thing that I want to bring in is uh, this, the oven. So I'm just gonna download this, I'm gonna import it. It's already in here. Now I'm just gonna move it here where I need it. Just gonna select all of this stuff. As you can see, it is a little bit bigger than what I need. Actually, no, the size is quite okay-ish. So it's a proxy, duplicate to mesh. I'm gonna delete the proxy. I'm gonna leave only this. I'm gonna apply an FFD. Two should be enough. And I'm just gonna drag this here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of gap in here and also on the other side. This should be fine for now. I just need to delete the back part of my furniture and it's done. Okay, what else we need? This one, download. Okay, let's bring also here. I already made a gap in this, so this should be fine. This should go like this. I'm just gonna change the... I'm gonna reapply an UV map to this. Okay, let's move forward. The next thing that I need, we just need more stuff. I'm gonna bring also this clock wall download. I'm just uh, showing you all of this because to have realism in your renders, you also need to have a lot of details. So most of the time, this is what is actually creating the realism of your scene. The more, the better. Um, what else do I need here? We also need to bring some plants and some nice chairs. This is also something that we need. Just gonna bring it in. Okay, this is good also. Let's go on in here, 3D models, um, furniture, kitchen furniture. Bring also this. I think this is a little bit way too big. I'm just gonna delete the other one that I just brought in. I'm just gonna scale this for a bit. And bring it here. Okay, this looks uh, quite nice. Okay, let's see what else. I'm just gonna save the file. Let's also bring a chair inside here. I really love this one. The cool part about all these uh, materials library is that I don't like the wood color so I'm just gonna change that want to make it lighter as the one that I already have in the scene so what I'm going to do I'm gonna use a corona color correct in here just gonna bring it here I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter make it more yellow maybe five this should be enough and I'm gonna desaturate everything a little bit more in it then. I just uh, want color that it's similar with the one that uh, I already have in the scene. Just contrast maybe 1.4, They're kind of a reddish color. Not yellow enough. Okay, for now I'll just leave it as it is. I'll make a copy as an instance. I'll also do the same thing on the other side. Group, and then instance, rotate, save. In the meantime, let's see what else do we have in here. Okay, oh, also these ones were quite beautiful. The ones from Petra. Okay, let's see how those ones are looking and if not, I'm gonna use... Uh, actually, let's see now. Mm, yeah, these are quite low, so 
I don't think they're actually good. So I'm just gonna use the ones from uh, Vitra. I will just try to find them again. Furniture, now we'll just go to chairs and here at the bottom, I'm just gonna download this, import. It's already here, which is amazing. Yeah, this Chaos Cosmos, it's just uh, an amazing way to add your library inside 3D Studio Max. Uh, too bad that you also can't save your own uh, furniture. Okay, let's see how everything is actually looking right now. Okay, this is looking nice. The metal, yeah, I'll just probably make it black on these chairs. So I'll just open my material slate and the uh, metal I will just make it a non-metal now I'll pick up here a dark color 0.8 let's check now how everything is looking yeah, it's uh, definitely working okay I'll just leave it like this for now let's see what else I can bring in Okay, this is the next one. Just going to add everything on the same. Okay, and now we'll just make also this black. Maybe it's not this color that I need. Yeah, it can also stay like this. The only problem is that these two are not on the same height. I'll just check this and now uh, yeah, just leave a little small gap in here. I'll just also extend this up here. Just to have it better. Now let's first bring some accessories for the kitchen. I will just go to kitchen accessories and start uh, bringing stuff in. First of all this. And then uh, let's see what else. All of this. Okay, then uh, let's also bring some Okay, what else we have in here? Uh, let's go to electronics and bring also some uh, I'm just gonna grab uh, different things and I'm gonna import all of them in the same time I'm just gonna try to move a little bit faster with all of this Okay, so I would like to also to bring a plant in here and a couple of books, and some accessories on the on the window sill. That's nice. This shows a little bit of uh, character. Uh, what else do I need here? So I would like some indoor plants. This one is looking nice. I just need a nice pot for it and though probably we're not going to see it. This is also quite pretty. Let me download this also this. It's fine. Okay, let's save all of this. So yeah, as you can probably imagine, we're not gonna use this uh, daylight uh, lightning uh, um, wood because uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, the, another thing that we need to add is to add some spotlights in here under the counter. On the top part here, I need to add some spotlights and I would also add, would like to add some track lights in here, maybe to illuminate the kitchen furniture. And uh, yeah, we're gonna add another spotlight in here and probably also here in the back. But um, yeah, what I care most of it is about the lights on the, on the kitchen area. So let's start with that. So yeah, you can just go here to the ceiling lamps and here you're gonna find uh, we need to find a spotlight, a uh, nice and beautiful spotlight. Let me see, where is it? Should be at least one in here. Maybe this one. No, this one can be used. Okay, I'll just bring this one. Let's see how big it is. Mm, yeah, not very happy with it. It's super huge. Uh, I just need to scale it for a bit and move the pivot on the bottom part and as you can see this is the spotlight and a very big problem is how do you create a hole for this so you can just go here and create the hole or what you can do is to create a cylinder that is the same size as your spotlight just need to add a little bit more Actually, your spotlight should go from here and move down to here. Now it's correct, but uh, yeah, you can't see the inside of the spotlight. But what I'm going to do is to add the cylinder in here. I'm gonna change the height of it and um, I'm gonna show you a trick. So for this material, which is the number two, this one here, the uh, material should have opacity which is here and to the opacity we're gonna add a map a corona distance map which is this one just gonna add this in here it's an instance i'm gonna add here zero for the color inside i'll just uh, take this color and add it in here and uh, what i'm going to do next i'm just gonna add this object the cylinder in there and uh, yeah let's see how it's looking and to this cylinder I'm just gonna use an object properties and I'm gonna make this not the render ball and now we have a hole so what happened was that actually in 3d studio max with the corona distance you can actually use it the corona distance map as a as a boolean so as you can see here I just use this in the corona distance material to create this hole so this is how I'm going to use all this uh, both lights and try to create their materials so first of all I need to go to the spotlight I'm gonna create here a spotlight I'm gonna take the material of the spotlight and check where is the light because the spotlight has a light inside so that light is going to illuminate my uh, the interior of the spotlight so as you can see it's this yellow but to, to do that I'm just gonna use the in the advanced self-illumination so I'm gonna use the self-illumination as a as a light so in here I'm just gonna add a corona color and this corona color which is this one i'm gonna use it with a kelvin and for now i'll just leave it white and uh, i'm just gonna add a little bit more power into here because now the self-illumination multiplier is only one so probably i need to have one, like 150 i guess we can have a look and check together to see how it's looking yeah we have a light inside right now I know if you can see it and also if i change the color of this so I make it, uh, if I have a color, you can see, but the color is changing, you can see it here. So yeah, this is uh, what we're going to do. But for now, I'm just gonna make all the lights white. And I'm also going to bring this uh, object to it, this cylinder. So I'm just gonna make a selection and isolate all these uh, places where I want to add my, my object. So let's see, I'm gonna add another spotlight in here as an instance. I'm gonna go to the left side, move everything on the top. Then I'm gonna take also this and move it to this area here as an instance also. Actually, it doesn't even need to be an instance, but anyway, I will just leave it. I'll make it a copy actually. And because this material on the top, the black one, you see here, it's uh, a different material than the one that we just made. I'm just gonna need to also to apply the corona distance also to this. 
I don't even know if this uh, spot is not way too big actually from what I see but it looks big to me so probably I just need to select all of them and make them uh, so I'm just gonna go here let's see 50 and maybe let's see 70 less do also these two 70 this also 70 this 70 now let's go on the side view and let's try to rearrange all of this to the right place okay this that's one is fine this can also go here and then this one it can also go here and then i'm just gonna add two of them on this area and uh, yeah what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go to this cylinder convert to editable poly and then attach also the other cylinders in one place so I don't need to add all the cylinders one by one I can add everything at once okay this is uh, fine for now what I need to do next is also to do to add this corona distance to the black material dark material which is this one this is material number two. Oh no, it was the same material, so I don't need to do anything. So right now, let me unhide everything. I'm just gonna save. Okay, what I really care is about this area. If I have those uh, spotlights in there, and I think they are. Yes, they are. I don't know if they are actually illuminating, but uh, for now it's fine. So what I'm going to do next uh, this one, I don't really like the position of it. I'd like to have it more in the middle like this. So this means that I need to move this cylinder here. Let's see. Okay, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my uh, spotlight for this, uh, my light, the Corona light. So the I IES we're going to use. So I'm going to go to Corona light, go to the top and create uh, whatever light is going to be on the default. And then to this one, I'm just going to go here and use a cylinder. And to this cylinder, it doesn't need to be exactly in the middle because it's if it's there it's there and then to this i'm gonna bring the ies and for this ies i'm just gonna use narrow soft warm lead i think this is uh, gonna work well i'm gonna put this somewhere here okay i'll just uh, leave it here for now and i'm just gonna make a couple of copies of it and i'm gonna make all these spotlights with an instance actually first of all i'm gonna make i'm gonna put a name of this and I'm gonna say spotlight and then I'm gonna start making some copy of it with an instance this is quite important instance and uh, let's see how it's actually looking just gonna save Okay, I like what I'm seeing. This is good. I see also the source of light, so I don't want to see that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select my source of light and I'm going to say not visible directly. And also you can take out the reflection and refraction. Yeah, it looks a little bit low, but uh, yeah, I think it's, it could work. We can also change it later with something else. If we don't, we don't like this, let's see the white bright, for example. Is it better? Not that amazing. Quite soft yeah this could work and uh let's see intermediate blurred this is also nice oh uh, there are lots of websites on the internet from where you can download all different types of ies lights if you just write on google ies light you can go here to the ies library and you can download from here any type of light that you would like to use uh, they are all for free from what i remember and yeah you can just go here and you can see also how the light is actually looking and then you can just uh, download that light so yeah feel free to use all of this so there are many types focused uniform this one yeah it's looking good 
we'll just use this one for now and uh, yeah let's move forward with the rest so okay we have these lights for now these are all instances it's good to know so to see if uh, a light or an object is an instance you can just go here and if this one is uh, getting a blue color it's a it's an instance with another object in the scene if you click on it you can make it unique so it's not an instance anymore so this is good to know okay let's add now another light in here i'm gonna go to corona light and i'm gonna add just a normal light cylinder in here uh, it doesn't need to be a cylinder this can be also a sphere for example you just need to make it smaller just to have it here inside because this is actually a bulb in reality so i will just leave it also this with 50 in 50 and in the moment that i'm gonna start rendering you're going to see there is a light above my uh, above my table but also having the sunlight coming from outside you can't really see that okay i would like to add a little bit more lights into this room uh, just to be sure that we have enough lights to play with a, a light mixer so uh, what else i want to do is to bring some spotlights above the the table so now what else what i would like to do is to bring some tracking lights that are going to illuminate this part of the kitchen so to do that i'm just gonna go here and pick up one of these uh, uh, tracking lights let me see which one maybe this one or this one we, uh, we don't have that many options actually this one could be nice also yeah these ones are, are looking good okay i'll download this for now import and i'm just gonna rotate everything and add my whole thing in here I hope they are not too big. No, they could work. Definitely could work. Just gonna add everything more here. Just gonna isolate my tracking light and my object. This is of course another proxy. I'm just gonna duplicate the mesh, delete the original one, go back, unhide all. This can go till here and I'm just gonna extend this part a little bit longer till here. And now I'm just gonna select my object. And now I'm just gonna make a couple of copies to it with an instance, of course. With move and shift, I'm just gonna add one here, clone to element, another one here and another one around here. And now I'm just gonna go and extend this till here. So they are all going in that direction. So now I'm just gonna isolate this and uh, do the same thing what I did with the spotlight. Just add that uh, self illumination option on my light. So to be sure that I can change the color of the of the light later i'm just gonna make this white for now and uh put here like 50 let's say i don't know how much did i use on the other one i just left it one no 150 i'll just put 50 also just to know that they are all different uh, this is yellow led spotlight and the one the other one is just for me to know how oh, it's the same material okay i'll just leave it as it is for now it doesn't matter let's see okay this is looking nice the only thing that i'm missing here and i don't want to see it like this i just need a cap this thing so i'm just gonna use a, a rectangle just to close all of this because otherwise it's gonna look uh, you can see inside and in reality there is a cap here so i'm just gonna use an extrude bit this whole thing to apply a chamfer fast and uh, yeah apply it probably the same material black one and that's it for now okay next we need to add some also some IES lights on this uh, on these lights so yeah what we're gonna do next is to add let me check if this light has no it doesn't have so we need to find a place to where to add our spotlight so I'm gonna add it here on the back because the front doesn't have uh, the, um, the glass so I'm gonna use Corona light auto grid and in this moment as you can see the gizmo is changing depending on on the plane that I'm uh, having my cursor in so I'm just gonna make it here as you can see and I'm just gonna change it now to in the modifier list I'm just gonna make it a disc and now I know for sure that it's in the 
it's in the same plane as the front part as you can see here and what i need to do next is to go here on the view and local aligned and i'm just gonna move this in the front and as you can see now the light is going in the different direction so i'm just gonna transform this and now it's on the right place i'm just gonna of course take all of this out add also here now just gonna use uh, the, a different type of IES in here because I don't want to have everything the same and now having 50 also this one I'm just gonna make some copies of it as an instance of course if you guys want to have this uh, tracking lights connected to your spotlight you can go to my uh, uh, youtube channel and dive in the videos i created a video only about tracking lights which is this one where i explain how to connect your spotlight to your tracking light so in the moment that i'm as you can see here in the moment that i'm moving the tracking spot left and right or up and down the light is also moving in the same time with the ies so if you guys want to know how to do this you can just go here on my youtube channel and you can find it here it's called link your spotlight to your tracking light anyway this uh, episode doesn't have anything to do with that so for now i'll just uh, leave it that as it is and i'm just gonna move my lights in here okay they are all more or less okay i'm gonna just save my file for now okay oh, now let's see how is all of this looking so one thing that I forgot is to name this spotlight so I'm gonna start all over again so the first thing is to, to create a spotlight and then to put a name to the spotlight and I'm gonna call it spot track light and now I'm just gonna go here to the view and make a copy of this with an instance it's very important to have them as an instance because in the moment that we're going to use the light mix they need to be an instance because you're going to see we're gonna use the light mix with the instances okay I'm gonna unhide all to see how it's everything looking so I have those lights I need to also to add some lights in here uh, above the stove or uh, under the smoke extractor so I'm just gonna go there corona light and as you can see here it has uh, some lights let me check how they are actually looking also there is a small problem here so we don't have a light in here so what I need to do is here to add another one and I'm gonna call it light Heat the smoke extractor and in here I'm just gonna add the corona uh, light material here and this one is gonna go in here I'm gonna just add here 50 power of 50 for now and now I'm just gonna go to this and apply the number 5 the moment that I did that you can already see that there is a light in there and I need to do the same with the other one Okay, there are only two lights in here, but uh, yeah, what I can do is to just to move them a little bit more to the left and to the right. So I will just do that for now. This should be fine. I just, uh, it's not the purpose of this uh, video to create everything perfect, but uh, for now this uh, could work. So I'm just gonna add here the same as we did before another uh, light and yeah, I'm just gonna use a narrow center and make a copy of it and put a name on it, on it. Light spot smoke extractor and I'm just gonna copy this as an instance also here. Okay, and uh, another thing that I want to do is to change the material of my outside image. For the exteriors, I'm always using, uh, for the windows, I'm using an image that is a 360 image. I can show it to you. This is the image. This is the image of my window and creating these images with a um, with a fisheye lens and I'm just taking a picture of the window and I'm just applying this to my to a sphere most of the time a sphere but in this case so uh, yeah it's a sphere and I made a cutout to have another one on the right side if you want to see also the color of the sphere the image 
you just need to go here and change this to black now it's gonna pop up so yeah i'm gonna change this with a with a night view so yeah i have an image also taken during the night which is this one i'm just gonna load that because it's a night view so we need to have a night shot in there so this is fine for now and the other one i'm also going to change that one because we're going to probably see it in the reflection or somewhere okay and now uh, we're starting so I'm just gonna go with F10, go to the scene and set up light mix. I'm just gonna use instance lights because I used all my lights as an instance and it's gonna take 1.4 gigabytes of RAM from the RAM of my computer. If you are grouping them, you make groups of the lights. That's also kind of similar with the instance, but you need, just need to group them. Then it's gonna take 2.6 gigabytes of RAM. And if you use it at individual lights, it's gonna take also 2.6 giga of RAM. So there is not really a big difference between these two. It's kind of similar. I'm just gonna hit generate. In the moment that I did that in the render elements, there is another, there are other layers with the spotlights and tracking lights and so on. I'm gonna go here and hit render. And now my scene is starting to render. Of course, it's still uh, showing the daylight view because I had the sun in here and here is showing a flare from a light, which is uh, coming from, I don't know exactly from where. And here we have everything from all the lights from our scene. So the best way to do it is to see exactly what each light is doing. So one is the environment. It should be also the sun in here somewhere, the Corona sun. I'm just closing that one. And then also the environment. And now we have only the lights of the scene. Okay, so there are a couple of things that I would like to change. First of all are these two lights. But I don't like them as, a, as an ES or at least not this one. So maybe I can use a white bright maybe. And the same for these ones that I also don't like. And I would like also here to have a white soft maybe. And uh, from what I've checked on my albedo, there are two red materials as you can see here so this is way too white so this needs to be to be made darker and also the plates and all of this stuff needs to be made darker so in case you don't know what uh, the albedo shading map is uh, there is a video on uh, corona channel and uh, if you can find it i will definitely make a video in the future about this so what i'm going to do i'm going to isolate my clock and uh, and this is my clock and here this is the material of the clock so i'm just gonna make this 0.8 just to have it a little bit more grayish because it's way too white and for the plates i'm gonna do exactly the same thing just gonna go in here try to find the white this one and i'm just gonna make this a little bit darker so now it's 245 i prefer not to go more than 220 you can see the difference and now yeah th those things should be okay and now as you can see it's everything looking good even though there is also some white stuff happening in here okay this is my image the beauty image with all the lights on there is also a light coming here Delete. Okay, let me try to do everything all over again. Another thing that I would like to do is to this and just transform all of this to a light material and just to add this in the color, make this black. Now we can actually see it and do the same with the other one. Change material map type to light. I will just use uh, 5 for now, it should be enough, just leave it white. Okay, so before starting the render, I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna delete my sun and I'm gonna stop my Corona Sky. We don't need it for now and then I will just go to my camera. So enable depth of field and that's kind of it for now. Everything else is uh, on normal and now I'm just gonna save and start rendering the scene.
Okay, so this is our render. As you can see, it took almost one hour to be finished. And uh, yeah, this is how it's looking. Uh, the textures on the wall, the bump is a little bit too big, but uh, it's not the purpose of this lesson. So I will just leave everything as it is and I'll just uh, start working on this. So the first thing that we're going to do is to bring a little bit more power on the simple exposure. So I'll go around 2.2. Uh, 2.1 this should be enough for now then the next thing that i'm going to do i'm just gonna go to my light mix and here i'm just gonna shut down the environment and then i will go to my corona light which is the light above uh, the table and i'll bring a little bit more power to this a little bit more power to this 10 i mean i will just leave it as it is for now and i will explain a little bit how it should the light mix work so what you need to understand is even though we have here the track lights behind we have the spotlights also underneath we have the spotlights and here we have some other lights what you need to understand is that all these lights have different colors so the spotlights have one color the tracking lights have one color and this light above the table above the bananas have different color so it's all working also in reality if you look at the bulbs and the lights in the room they are all different colors so so what we need to do is exactly that we need to have different colors uh, with different lights so what I'm going to do first I'm just gonna go to this corona light here and I'm just gonna choose from the temperature in Kelvin if you don't know what temperature in Kelvin is uh, I made a video about the corona chaos image editor and uh, yeah in this video I'm explaining how is the corona chaos image editor working so as you can see here I have the Kelvin and uh, the daylight which is 5500 uh, but not in the case of Corona render but the, anyway it doesn't matter so we have a white light somewhere in our case it's 6500 here is is 5500 and then above this it's got uh, the light is becoming blue it's like a neon light for example and underneath is going to yellow orange red and the reds as you can see here it's a sunrise sunset but also the fire and incandescent uh, light bulb and then the daylight which is in this case is white they are saying but uh, anyway this is what we need also need to do in here so what I'm going to do first with this light that we are having here I'm just gonna make this light a little bit warmer like this and I'm just gonna hit OK and I'm just gonna leave it like this for now then the next thing that we're going to do is the light from the uh, from the smoke extractor which is this one of course if we made this one very light most of the time this is quite a cold color so I'll just leave it as it is for now I'll just put a little bit more power into it because as you can see before it was less power in there and then the next one is the kitchen hood and these are the lights that are here in the in the spotlight so we have two lights here is the light that it's actually illuminating this space here and we have also the light that it's inside the spotlight so this one I'm just gonna make it a little bit more powerful I'll just use like 100 just to see some details in there as you can see this is the light maybe it's a little bit too much yeah this is more realistic but that's also depending on how much uh, was the size of the bloom and glare in here so yeah if I'm making here less then uh, and we'll use more bloom intensity yeah it's gonna look a little bit different but anyway for now i'll just leave it one okay i'll just go back to my light mix and then we have the luxter premium which are the lights inside the spotlights in here this one and also we have some spotlights in here so what we need to do is to bring some power in those ones oh uh, yeah you can't see anything right now because they were, those are very very small lights so i'm just gonna add here 500 let's say i don't know which one it's which but uh, i'll just find out let me see no it's not that one okay so this is the first one that we have yeah i added here 6000 i think which is quite a lot 500 it's already not enough yeah 1500 should be enough the color of this light should be the same one as the one that the spotlight has so the spotlight if i'm using zero here you see the it's is disappearing so these two should be the same color 
So what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to add to the spotlight, uh, yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 should be enough. And I'm just going to make this light. So this is, as you can see, the white, uh, with the white light in Corona render, it's around 6000. I think 1200 this is what I'm always using so uh, what I'm going to do here I'm just gonna use somewhere like 5400 and it's becoming a little bit warmer uh, which is uh, totally fine so if I used here 5400 I also need to use here 5400 so I will use the same in here I'll choose OK and I just need to put the same power from here also on these uh, other lights that's the light that is here underneath. This is the second one. This is the third one. Okay, and all of them, they need to have the same color. So I'm just gonna make a copy of this everywhere, as you can see. So now they are all the same, I think. Yep, they are all the same. And uh, yeah, now I think it's all looking very nice. This is the spot, the track lights from here. On these ones, I'm just going to make them a little bit more warmer and less powerful. So I'm just going to use here also 3.5 or 0.4. This is more like an ambient light, so they don't need to be that powerful. So and I will also try to make them a little bit warmer. So I will use 5500 for these ones. So they are a different color than these ones, yeah? So here we have, fortunately it doesn't keep the color in here, uh, but to a set uh, yeah, these ones are a little bit more warm than uh, the other ones. And now we have another two lights, which are, which is the outside, is the back, the one that we don't see is behind me, and it's the one on the right side, the outside right. And these ones, I'm just gonna make them a little bit colder because the night and in general, the uh, night view is uh, always cold color so i'm just gonna use here maybe more four that's a little bit too much because it's not that four should be enough and also for the other one i'm just gonna use exactly the same color even though we don't see it in here and it's not going to affect that much our uh the rest is uh, the rest unassigned yeah we don't have anything in here in this layer and uh yeah these are the uh, lights for this uh, room and now i'm just gonna go back to my post because here i resetted everything before uh, we started doing the the render and now i'm just going to make my white balance the same color as this so i'm just gonna go down until i'm gonna achieve that so 5500 it's already there 5400 it's a little bit too blue so I'll just leave it 5600 and now as you can see what's very important in the renderings in general and especially interiors is to have somewhere the light that is the predominant in this case we are the spotlights the white light so you need to see where you have white you need to see it as a white this is why it's called the white balance so the white it always needs to be white so as you can see now these colors are correct so these ones are they should be a little bit warmer so i'm just gonna go back to my track lights i'm just gonna make these ones a little bit more yellow so 4800 maybe 4200 now they're a little bit more warm okay now i'm just gonna go back to my post and um, as i said i have my white balance in here my contrast you can bring a little bit more contrast if you want uh, it always helps and then after this one i'm just gonna bring on uh, a filmic mapping just gonna open this the theory mapping is very good with the highlights compression so i will just put a little bit of highlights and then for the rich and shadows i will just bring this a little bit higher so as you can see this is my original image and at the moment that i'm bringing the rich shadows higher is making the shadows darker so in this way i'm getting a little bit more contrast in the image i'm going to bring also a little bit of advanced filmic this advanced filmic it's also kind of similar to filmic but it's a little bit more advanced so here you can bring the two strength which is making everything darker just a little bit of it and then for the two length i'll just make it smaller because i don't want to have such a big contrast between everything and uh, for the rest uh, i'll just leave it as it is and the last thing that uh, i would like to bring in here in the post 
it's the loot of course and here you can choose a loot from the loots that are uh, already in coming with the corona render but you need to be careful because right now if i'm using this loot and as you can see the image got very very yellow so this means that i need to change my uh, white balance according to the new color so you always need to take in consider consideration this so i'm just gonna leave it as it is for now and i'm just gonna ch change the loot that i have in here uh, with something else maybe uh, Futura and now because I have I'm choosing this loot I need to change also the color of my uh, white balance so I'm just gonna go a little bit lower with this 4800 4900 should be fine so I'm still keeping my white in there and uh, yeah let's go to the next one the next one is bloom and glare I don't want to play too much with this as you can see we already have some bloom and some glare in here uh, these ones are looking good most of the time the bloom and glare it's appearing because of the lens and shape of the lens so what's happening it's actually the light when it's coming through the lens is just bouncing inside between this, uh, these lenses and this is why you get this flare some people like it some people don't I'm trying to make it as subtle as possible so the last thing that I'm going to do is the sharpening and blurring this also helps a lot I'm just gonna use a 0.9 in here and uh, yeah I'll just leave everything else as it is if you have all of them around one that would be more than enough the next thing that i'm going to do i'm just gonna save this as a tga i'm gonna override the one that i already have in here and i'm just gonna open all of this in photoshop just to apply a little bit more uh, subtle effects okay now i just open my file as you probably already know from my other videos i'm always using the uh, camera raw field it's a very nice program it's used by the famous photographers it's also what you have uh, in the lightroom so with this you can do many many things so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm gonna bring a little bit more light and a little bit more contrast to the image i'm gonna bring the highlights a little bit down the shadows a little bit high the black a little bit lower and you can also see here here as you can see the everything it's very very subtle right now i can bring a little bit more contrast if i want to or a little bit more black also two things that corona render doesn't have it is texture and clarity uh these two they can look nice but also don't play too much with them don't go too far always go subtle and also a little bit of the haze also the vibrance because the image is quite colorful right now i'm just gonna make it a little bit less it's just a personal preference and then uh, of course we have the highlights and this is similar with the, the ones that we have in tone mapping so if i bring the highlights as you can see or only the lights so yeah i'll just leave it as it is because we already did that in the in the corona render I'm also going to bring a little bit of sharpness in this. I'm going to use the color noise reduction in case you have too much noise. It also has a color mixer, which is very helpful to change colors in case you want to. On the color grading, you can also bring, yeah, you can grade your image wherever you, in any style you want. As you can see, I can change all the shadows into very blue colors. I'll just bring a little bit of blue into them and I'll just leave them as it is because I, the blue from outside is not that powerful. And uh, next, uh, let's see, we have some optics. Yeah, we don't have any distortion in here because we don't use it. We're not using any, any lens. We have the geometry, we don't use it in here. Uh, the effects, you can add some grain into the image. As you can see, if you make it very subtle, it's gonna look uh, nice. And of course, we have also the vignette that we could also bring from uh, Corona render directly, but I would prefer to bring it from here. I will just put it just to have a little bit of soft shadows on the corners so my focal point is going directly to my image and uh, yeah this is it i will just hit ok the last thing that i want to do is to go to lens correction and here to the custom i will just bring a little bit of chromatic aberration in here so a little bit of red this also needs to be very subtle and uh, just a little bit of green so it's gonna be magenta and a little bit of blue or and it's gonna it's going to be yellow now we'll just hit okay and um, yeah as you can see this is our final image it looks nice it's very moody of course uh, but i wanted to have like a moody uh, image and um, yeah in case you guys liked it please don't forget to subscribe there are many other videos that are coming 
in the future uh, please share it with your friends in case you find it useful and um, yeah for my patrons they can download the say xr file uh, that i use in this uh, in this file and also the 3d file but without the furniture from the chaos uh, cosmos because yeah i can't sell something that it's which was made by someone else of course and uh, yeah just give it a thumb like and see you in the next one bye Thank you.